Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today I'm Hyla Cooking. I'm gonna show y'all how to make some carnitas tacos, which is a specialty from the state of Michoacan, I think, in Mexico. It's basically just pork cooked for a really long time in its own fat, so it gets really tender and juicy with lots of little crispy bits. This is how I make crispy bits. So let's get started. So to start here, I've got a, about a four pound bone-in Boston pork butt. <laughs> ah, butt. Um, you could use boneless or bone-in, whatever they have. And we're just gonna cut this up into about two inch chunks, just cut around the bone. Pull the meat away from the bone as you slide your knife down to get that off. Don't cut yourself. All right, we're gonna hang on to this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the pot and we'll shred the rest of the meat off of that once it's cooked. For our spices, I've got some cumin seed and some coriander seed that I ground up together and I'm gonna dump that in. I don't know, I don't think the coriander is traditional, but I really like the citrus flavor that it adds to the pork. And then I'm gonna zest an orange into this pot also. And again, not traditional, but it tastes real, real good, you guys but you can totally leave it out. If you wanted to just make this like as simple as, as anything, you could just do garlic and salt and that would still turn out really, really good. Okay, so about a half a teaspoon of that and then I want the juice in there too. And this adds a little bit of sweetness. Okay, and then some lemon, which I don't want the seeds in there, so I'll do it this way. Come on, mussels, do your thing. A whole bunch of garlic, just rough chop it. By the time this is cooked, you're not gonna be able to distinguish any kind of garlic chunks. Okay, and then our pork. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat on. The bone, if you're using, if you have a bone, just put that on the bottom. And then also just kind of face the fattier pieces towards the bottom of the pan. Traditionally, this is actually pork that's like boiled for a long time in lard. So I've kind of got a little shortcut, not shortcut, but lard cut method here where we're just gonna use the fat that's on the pork, but mostly we're actually gonna cook the pork in water. So I'm actually gonna add just enough water to cover the pork. It could be four to six cups, depending on how much pork you're using and the size of your pot. But that's just about perfect. And I'm gonna add some salt as soon as I wash my porky hands. And we're just gonna let this um, come to a boil and then we'll turn it down to a simmer. Okay, it takes about 10 minutes for it to come to a low boil like this on high heat. I'm just gonna turn it down to kind of like a medium low. And we're just gonna let it simmer uncovered for three hours or until the water has pretty much evaporated and the pork is very, very tender. So synchronize watches. Okay, so just at three hours later, because I am a real whiz when it comes to clocks, our meat is totally cooked and tender. I'm taking that bone out. Most of your meat is probably already kind of falling apart by now. You can shred it up a little bit more, but um, our water's cooked off. And I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit now and just kind of let that continue to cook um, to get the bottom a little bit crispy. Sometimes you'll get carnitas that are t cut into tiny cubes but I like it shredded, so I don't know. You'll see it both ways. I don't really know which way is like official. So a little corn tortilla there. And look how tender and it's just like beautifully just falling apart there. Just some onion and cilantro. Look, it's like one of those street tacos at Taco Cabana. That was a joke and a little bit of lime. Lime is really great with these to kind of cut through the heaviness of the pork. And I've got some super hot salsa I made with some just chiles de arbol and water and garlic. Mmm. Just like meat gravy in a taco. It's so moist and t tender. Wow, that is awesome. This is delicious tacos. Like I was saying, um, you could just put this like on a salad, make a little carnita salad or something. But anyway, it's amazing. It's so easy. I mean, you saw how easy it was. You just have to wait around for a little bit. 
but I hope you tried this recipe. If you have any questions about anything, just leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Again, thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Happy cooking.